Well, here is the Super Dexter clutch. Uh, so we have a look at the components. We've got the release bearing sitting on the top, which we'll move aside. And then we've got the, the clutch cover, which is the black bit on the top. And attached to that, we've got the release levers. We've got the springs on the top. There should be 12, but uh, we've only got one actually placed on top. But you'll have to imagine the other 12 are there. And beyond that, we've got the red bit, which is the uh, pressure plate for the PTO clutch. And then we've actually got the PTO clutch disc sandwiched in there. And then the center driving plate. And then the transmission clutch disc. And then at the bottom there, we got the transmission uh, pressure plate. So we've got two clutch discs, the PTO clutch disc and the transmission clutch disc. So this is actually a, a dual clutch. And you tend to deal with the dual clutch as a complete unit. So the complete clutch unit has been unbolted from the tractor's flywheel and is now put on the bench for us to examine and work on. Now you probably know that the dual clutch works by having a sort of two-stage operation. You push the clutch pedal halfway down and the transmission clutch disc is disengaged. You push the clutch pedal fully down and the PTO clutch disc is disengaged. Now when this clutch unit was removed from the tractor, it was fairly obvious that something was wrong because one of the release levers was actually down lower than all the rest. And on close examination, we actually found the reason why. Part of the PTO pressure plate has actually broken off. And the remaining bit was actually found loose actually inside the bell housing. Now that is actually part of a pivot for the release lever. It's in position and held securely in place by the three pegs. Then on top of that is going to go our PTO clutch disc. And this time the centre boss is, is facing upwards, not downwards. And then to centralise that, I've actually utilised an old jar stopper, a plastic uh, jar stopper, which is just the right size. It's going to go down in there and centralise looking good and then on top we're going to put the clutch cover and the PTO pressure plate making sure our alignment marks are all lined up to maintain the balance of the clutch and that goes down in place good. and now we can screw in the six set screws and spring washers to secure the clutch cover in place. Now, what I've done here, I've just modified it slightly. I've put some insulation tape around there um, because this plastic jar stopper seemed to be wobbling about a little bit on the threads. It would actually go into uh, the uh, trough of a thread. And so we've just wound some tape around there just to make it a tighter fit so we get more accurate centralization. And so that's looking good. And so now, we can just spin up these uh, set screws here, holding the clutch cover in place. 